Boxing King Media. Chris, it's the second time I've had a chance to speak to him last time at the Elian Arena. Yeah, after the fight, yeah. I noticed Dice looks quite slim today. Yeah. Is that something you've been working on? Um, he's, 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 he's coming down a little bit in weight from not being in training camp, eating what he, what he likes. But he's had George over, uh, uh, cooking for him now, God, six, seven, eight weeks, and obviously we've got another eight weeks to go to the fight. We've been training all year. We haven't stopped really. Uh, from pretty much January the second or third, we started back, and he's been building his strength up. But we've got we've got him and Joseph Parker training together at the moment. They're a strength block together. They're doing all their training sessions together. Then we've got a little packed on, keeping keeping a super clean year, no alcohol. Um, and it's working, they're, they're both in great shape. The numbers they're both hitting in the gym at the moment are like PB level and we're still weeks out. So I, I suspect you'll get a, a much stronger Tyson Fury than for Wilder Free, for example, where we had loads of complications. He had obviously a camp that got hit with COVID, then his daughter wasn't well, and then he had a very short preparation time to go into that Wilder Free fight. So I think you're gonna see an improved Tyson Fury, the way he looks, but also the way he performs. I think Tyson said, I don't know if he was joking, that he's gonna come in the heaviest ever. Yeah, well, uh, he's quite, he's known to be quite a bit Yeah, shit, yeah, the, you know, Tyson performs good when he's when he's heavier. Um, his, his, his top performances are always, you know, around that 19 stone or even above mark. And and you know, it's not about how you look. Heavyweights, Tyson's a perfect example of that. Um, it doesn't matter how he looks; it's the performance. So he's he's gonna he's gonna be in perfect shape for performance, and that's what matters. Uh, what his weight is is actually irrelevant. It's it's how he feels, um, how he performs. That's that's all that's important. And you're preparing him for a knockout or a, or a long distance. He's fight? you know he's you know, he, he's 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 part of the the Kronk style setup now. It's it's only knockouts he's going for. Um, if, if, if Dillian White makes it to 12 rounds and fair play to him, he's going to get beat on points. But Tyson will be looking for a knockout, and I'm, I'd be very surprised if it, if it goes beyond the mid rounds, which is what he said himself. There was a period, obviously, Tyson didn't know whether the fight was happening. He was obviously yeah. showing his frustration on Instagram. Yeah. Was it difficult trying to keep him focused? Um, not, not, not really, because he's he's always focused to train. He always wants to train. We got you know, out out of camp he trains. He he's not he's not a fighter that sits on his ass and does nothing. He will go to the gym, he will train pretty much every single day and most days he'll, he'll train and do some sort of aerobic cardiovascular session as well. So keeping him motivated is never an issue. He was frustrated because he wanted to have the fight nailed down. And he, he, you know, whether it was Dillian White or whether it was going to be the, re um, the unification fight with Uzek, whoever it was, he just wanted to have a fight set in stone. The fact that it's Dillian White now means he's got a, a, you know, someone to focus on and now we've got a date and a venue and it's going to be some occasion here at Wembley so he's, he's, you, see, you see the mood he's in today, he's in a very good mood today, he's very upbeat, he's very positive because he knows he knows he's going to be ready and knows it's going to be an epic, epic fight. Yeah, I can see you're just as excited as um, I yeah. this is for, We've all said that everyone in his team, all his sort of, um, anything from his business side of his team to his actual you know, boxing and fitness side of his team, we all wanted a homecoming fight. We've been, we've been on the road ourselves for, for the last four years. You know, we remember the, the, you know, his comeback fight in Manchester and the next fight in Belfast were great. We haven't been in the UK since then, we've been over in America, which has been unbelievable, but we wanted a big fight back here and have a stadium fight at Wembley Stadium in front of 100,000 people. It's gonna be, you know, it, you know, this might be the last time he ever fights in the UK. This is, this is you know, if you're a Tyson Fury fan, you need to get here and get tickets to this fight because he may never fight in the UK again. So this is the chance to see him live in the flesh in front of 100,000 people at Wembley. Kristen, I'm going to close it on that bombshell. Brilliant. <laughs>